everyone, it's Clarice and today I'm going to be reviewing Practical Demon Keeping by Christopher Moore. This is the story of the village of Pine Cove, California, which is relatively peaceful until one day chaos ensues. And that chaos came in the form of the demon Hatch. But Catch doesn't find himself in Pine Cove alone. He's accompanied and is always accompanied by this guy named Travis who is an ex-seminarian who just wants to be rid of Catch because due to certain circumstances, they're kind of stuck together. Catch, on the other hand, just wants to eat everybody alive. An unlikely duo, but it makes for a really absurd, morbid, yet somewhat still fun story. After rereading Lamb by Christopher Moore earlier this year, and after that book because of the writing and the just sense of humor of Christopher Moore became one of my favorite books of all time, I made it a point to try to read as many of this author's books as I can because Again, I just really like his humor. This was actually the first published novel of Christopher Moore. So that's the one that I wanted to start with. And if you've read Lamb, yes, Catch is the same demon that was in that story. And this is actually exactly what I expected it to be based on Lamb. It was funny, it had that sarcastic and this time around kind of morbid humor that I really enjoy. And it was so entertainingly absurd. It was pretty ridiculous and out there at times, but again, I enjoyed it. Also, as I expected, because this was Christopher Moore's first novel, I knew that this wouldn't blow my mind, which it didn't. And it was also by no means perfect. The plot was kind of all over the place at some point, and the ending was somewhat underwhelming. Also took me longer than I would have liked for me to get into this book, considering that this is a relatively short book. Just a bit under 250 pages, it took a while for me to get into it. It took me about 40 pages to get into it. It took a while for this story to have any semblance of plot. It's because this is one of those stories with several characters, smaller stories that intertwine into this huge plot. There's a lot of background before it actually got to the point and because of that it was a bit difficult to get into at first. But like I said, overall I did like it and it still had those elements of Christopher Moore's writing that I was looking for and that I enjoy. And it still has me looking forward to reading more of his books. Anyway, thank you so much for watching that review. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I do try to review every single book that I read. And also if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please follow me on Twitter as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!